Dr. Stephen Scavelli, and this is End Time Revival Ministries. My very special guest for the show is God's missionary, Peter Kozik. Thank you for having me. What was the Republic of Czech like before the invasion of Germany in 1939? 1938, before it was very, very wealthy, industrial republic, a lot of good thinkers, people, they were doing all kinds of uh, high industrial. Uh, it was a very, very, very beautiful country, and uh, people, they uh, just succeed. It was growing. It was uh, a lot of things were coming from Czech Republic, mm. a lot of inventions and uh, industrials, very beautiful nation. At that time, uh, were there a lot of churches? Was, there, uh, were, was it a Christian nation? Yes, in those days, uh, as we know, Christianity came from uh, old Europe, yeah. and uh, everywhere you went, it's uh, churches, small mm -hmm. villages, uh, large towns, uh, centers, everywhere the church was. And, uh, but the problem was, it was a lot of religion and tradition. Mm. But uh, still, it was a, they called that Christian nation. But, but people, the people were worshiping the Lord freely. Yes, in those days, yeah, like we talk about 38, before the Second World War, mm. yes, it was freedom. Nobody wasn't, you know, doing anything, and people, they went to churches yeah. freely, and it was no problem whatsoever. Did the worship of the Lord stop? Well, it was, a, it stopped persecution, you know, and it was a kind of, very difficult to continue, but still pastors, uh, churches, people, they, they went to churches. It was still, during Second World War, it mm -hmm. was still, it was not persecuted, it was free to worship, people, they could go. Yeah. It was a very difficult time for people yeah. because it was a war zone. Sure. Uh, they had to go through Czechoslovakia from mm -hmm. Germany to uh, Russia, right. but still it was free to worship. Now, um, Germany set up a lot of um, concentration camps. Um, yes. The, did uh, a lot of uh, Poles, a lot of Czechs, a lot of Slavic type people. Yeah. Uh, besides Jews, maybe a Jewish uh, Czech. Were they encamped here? Did they, were they? Uh, yeah, some camps were in Czech Republic yeah. and some, uh, the large ones like Auschwitz, they yeah. were in uh, Poland and it was, it was very bad. Very it bad. Was, uh, Whoever was against government, yeah. uh, uh, against war, yeah. they just perished. They were gone. Nobody knew. Nobody yeah. saw them again. Now, w w your, your mother and father, w were they raised up in the church? Did, did they go through this, this time? Uh, yes, it was very difficult for them because as a young people, my dad was born 1921, so he grew up in a church. He served in a church, and it was uh, very difficult for them. But. Uh, uh, I have to say it was very sad. Uh, they had a religion. Yeah. They had religion. A lot of tradition was there, yeah. and it was very unhealthy. Yeah. And they tried to pass on another generation. So for them, you know, they were used to go to church, and suddenly things were changing rapidly, and uh, it was not easy for them. Yeah. Now, now when when Germany lost the war. Um, and uh, I think they surrendered May 8th. Yes, yes, sir. And now the Russians came in. Now, is this when the country really changed? I mean, when Russians came in, actually they locked the country, isolated, and it was totally transformation. Yeah. It was a socialist, communist, hardcore regime. Yeah. And it was difficult, it was about controlling and people they had, uh, it was just, everything changed. Yes. Everything was different. Yes. They told people what to do, how to do, when to do. Yeah. And uh, you didn't have to think because you were always told what to do. Yes. And uh, things were difficult. It was very oppressive. Mm -hmm. It was uh, very hard for people. And uh, I believe many people immigrate mm. in those days to United States, as we speak. Yes. You know, those days. But the many they stayed, and the situation was very difficult when the Russians took over. So, so worship at that time uh, was illegal. Yes, I mean, uh, they said, you know, evolution. 
Yeah. That's the same thing if I can talk about myself. Mm. That's how I was raised. Mm. And uh, they uh, try to isolate people, discourage people to go to churches. Yeah. In a school, public schools, yeah. uh, state schools, everything was about evolution. Yes. Evolution. Yes. So that was actually brainwashing, and it uh, generation after generation was changed. So, and, uh, so you, uh, the people were forced to become a communist. Yes, and it was difficult. Mm. It was difficult. Some they didn't want to, and some they were outspoken against the regime. Yeah. And they whew, gone. They disappeared. Nobody saw them again. Because uh, everybody were listening. Yeah. When you want to spoke or say something, you need to watch, look around first. Yeah. Nobody's listening. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't pay attention, it could happen to you. Sure. Now, the Holy Spirit, he has not forgotten about the Czech Republic. Amen. Yes, sir. Is there revival in the country now? As we speak right now, it's a... Uh, you know, the church itself, mm. as we know, after summit revolution, mm. 1989, yeah. it's a 25 years old church, actually was approved by government. So before they were persecuted, yeah. isolated, uh, they are struggling right now. I, I cannot say that it's revival going on, yeah. but uh, people try to do the best they can. Uh, they try to reach the people, lose the people, uh, preach the gospel, but it is difficult because they were used to do things a certain way for yeah. many, many years. Sure. Now things are changing. Yeah. So uh, the number one, the mind and ha attitude has to be changed. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. Sure. It is not easy. Now, um, your wife, Jana, yes. you and your wife, are you guys going back to the Czech Republic from time to time? Are you working with other churches? Are, are you trying to bring revival there? Well, right now we are through Assemblies of God, uh -huh. World Mission Missionaries, yeah. full time. And uh, uh, God called us back yeah. to first two years. We were there from 2011 mm. till 2013. Yeah. We went to South Moravia mm. to plant churches yeah. in a small little town yeah. of 22,000, Vyškov nad Moravou. Uh -huh. And we planted five new churches. And as we speak today, two of them are self-supportive, indigenous, to God be the glory. However, uh, we're going to go back now for three more years mm. and to help local churches. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a huge advantage to God be the glory. We can go back without any like uh, problems. We still have a dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. So we don't have problem with the visa. We can go in and uh, that's God's going to use that advantage. We know the language also. Mm -hmm. and normally when missionaries, they're going to mission field, they have to learn the language of the local people. Yeah. So uh, we know the language and uh, we're looking forward to go back to help local people. And it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So th the Lord is moving in, in yes. the Czech Republic. Yes, God is doing something mm -hmm. that uh, only he knows. We just need to be obedient. Yeah. And we just need to say, yes, sir. I need to ask a silly question, but you would know this since you, you've been in both countries. Do you see America going down the same path? <sighs> yes, it is uh, very sad to say it. Yeah. But uh, it's a very similar. It's yeah. very similar. Things are happening like they were happening in the country I grew up. Yeah. And it is visible. Yeah. It is more tangible. Yeah. And uh, it is sad to say it. So help us, Lord, yeah. that we would wake up. Yeah. Do you, do you think judgment will fall upon this country for the, for the things that uh, we have uh, agreed to, like abortion and same-sex marriage and uh, the trying to take God out of everything? Don't you think the Lord will uh, pronounce some type of judgment upon this country? Well, we know that it is uh, in the Bible written. Yeah. We should not be doing it, and we do it anyway. Yeah. We try to, you know, just uh, do, uh, say God, you know, what we can do. And we don't listen. We are very disobedient. Yeah. We are very arrogant, sure. prideful. And uh, every act, if it's wrong doing, yeah. has a consequences. Sure. So we have to be mindful of it. Sure. Help us, Lord, 
Yeah. Because whatever we do, if it's wrong, if it's not of God, yeah. if it's not upright, sure. it's always consequence. Sure. Sometimes God gives us second chance. Yes, many and, times. And uh, mm -hmm. we give him glory. Thank you, Lord, for the second chances. Yeah. However, many times, whatever we plant, we're going to reap. I personally believe uh, that our country will um, go through a great tribulation time. Uh, for the things that we're involved with, like I said, same-sex marriage and uh, the abortion issue, which is not a good thing, and also trying to uh, take God out of everything, mm -hmm. you know, and, and make and, and actually to make it illegal to worship Him, you know, or or to speak His name. I actually see uh, this country becoming a socialist or a uh, a communist country. I, I think things are going to be pretty bad here in America unless revival comes Amen. to this country yes. you know revival has to come to this country yes. it's the only thing that's going to save this country Amen. is the lord jesus the power of the holy spirit will change you will change your heart will change your mind will change your attitude yes. and you will have a fire Help in us. your belly you have a fire in your speech you will defend the gospel you will preach his name you will get salvations because there, there has to be fruit when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Sir, do you travel any place else besides the Czech Republic? Well, we go to Slovakia because we still have a family. Uh -huh. We are Slovakians yeah. and we go there to see. And uh, the situation in uh, Slovakia, people are more conservative. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's a more religion there more all kinds of uh, traditions. Yeah. That's what they hold upon. Yeah. But it still is moving, moving a little by little because Slovakia is and Czech Republic also part yeah. of European Union. Sure. So they telling them as we speak right now uh, what to do sometime. Yeah. How to do things. Yeah. It's not like they are sovereign nations. Yeah. It's uh, they are told what to do. So little by little, they losing their identity, yeah. and uh, it's it's difficult to do something. Now is um, now I'm not banging on the Catholic Church, but is is the Catholic Church there too, or? Well, Catholic Church is still there. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, as I said, it's a lot of churches still yes. there. They own a lot of beautiful cathedrals yes. and properties and gardens. Yeah. They were taken after 1945 from yeah. them yeah. and uh, government had and they owned them on. So now they have it all back from government. So it's a kind of struggling church. Yeah. People, they still uphold traditions. Yeah. And that's tradition will help nobody. Yeah. That's uh, nothing. It's, uh, it's no life, no yeah. hope. Yeah. Just, uh, I do something because my mom did it or I saw it do it, yeah. next door neighbor. Yeah. But why you do it? Yeah. So that doesn't help nobody. That's A lot of traditions. That's really not the, uh, the word of God. Yes, no, it's uh, everything, it's, uh, you know, it's flesh in involve. So they pushing the boundary left and right, how it works for them, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it's very dangerous place to be. Yes. How far are you going to be pushing those uh, boundaries? Sure. How far? Yes. Well, let's do compromise here. We yeah. will see what happens. Yeah. Wow. So I don't think it's the way. The only way is to accept Jesus Christ. Amen. As yes, Lord sir. and King. Yes, it sir. It is by His blood. It is by His Hallelujah. finished work of the cross. Hallelujah. It is by asking Him into your heart that he is Lord and King and confessing him with your mouth, that any nation and an individual can be changed. Yes. It is by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yes. There has to be a salvation uh, in your heart. There has to be a salvation preached to a nation. Yes. Or that nation shall perish. And if that nation perishes without Jesus, there's only two places to go with our Lord Jesus, and then there's hellfire. And you have to make that decision. Amen. Because Jesus said, I am the way, 
and the truth and the life. And he said, no man can come to the Father except he come by me. You want to talk about the cross, sir? Yes, sir. Jesus Christ died on the cross yes, for sir. us, for each one of us. Yes. When I came here, I, uh, I didn't know what... Uh, I heard that in the past because yes. I mentioned it was a lot of religion. Yeah. So I heard that Jesus died on the cross, yeah. but I didn't understand why he was dying on the cross. Uh -huh. Why he was doing it. In my eyes, you know, I didn't have the Word of God, yeah. my standards. I yeah. have a worldly standards, so in my eyes, I was a good person. Yes. And uh, when he was telling me that I need to be born again, I need to confess, yes. and uh, he died and he shed his blood for my sins. I said, what's going on? I mean, why he was dying? What was his problem? I'm a good person. I never abuse anything, no alcohol, any kind, nothing. I was a good, hard-working man, and I couldn't understand until I came to this country, 1990, and it was 1991 in August mm -hmm. when uh, I was listening to Christian Station mm -hmm. and uh, Charles Stanley. Yeah. Uh, WKES station, Moody Bible Institute station, he was talking about that I'm a sinner. I said, sinner? Well, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm good in my eyes. Yeah. So he was always challenging me. You need to confess. You need to believe. I said, confess what? But uh, it was uh, later on, because what happened, in the old country, I was, uh, I had to listen. So when I came and Charles Stanley, in his messages, he was always mentioned, listen, listen. I didn't want to listen. He was always on the end of his messages giving invitation to receive Jesus Christ and confess. So as a sinner, I, I didn't want to do it because I thought in my eyes I was not one. It was uh, five months later when I was listening to that Christian station, mm -hmm. Charles Stanley, he always extend invitation he said listen and I was listening because I was illegal I was uh, working hard I brought my family we couldn't speak English it was very difficult and mm. a very challenging time for us and he said you need to confess Jesus mm -hmm. in your mouth you need to believe in your heart that God the Father raised him from the dead mm -hmm. you will be saved yeah so when he said that on the end of that message, I followed the prayer like he led. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, to God be the glory, I was transformed, I was changed, I was a new creature. God gave me new heart, heart of flesh, and my name was written in the Lamb Book of Life. Hallelujah! So I was really changed, and to God be the glory, my life never was the same. Did you? Did you know what happened? Because you had no training, right? No training whatsoever. But it was actually, it was a tangible. Because uh, when I came as a illegal and I was here, I was living in a mobile home, mm. no air condition, no drinking water, outside portable toilet. And uh, when I prayed a prayer, I felt it was, because I was packed with uh, unforgiveness, bitterness, hostility, mm -hmm. animosity, oh. all those attributes of the flesh, I was filled with them. Mm -hmm. I could explode any second. Mm. So when I prayed the prayer, I felt something left me. Yeah. And uh, then when I finished, in the name of Jesus, something filled me. Uh -huh. It was the Holy Spirit. It was so tangible that things I saw, they were different. It was incredible. I was born again. So your eyes and heart were opened up to the spiritual realm. Yes, sir. I was born a new spirit. Everything was different. Grass was greener. Uh -huh. Every, it was changed. And God filled my heart with himself. Yes. Because each one of us, God made us in a special, unique way yes, sir. as a human beings. So each heart, we have a special space or place that only God himself can fulfill. Nothing else. I tried wealth, I tried possessions, uh, fame, you name it. Yeah. It didn't work. Yeah. Only God can fulfill. Yeah. And when I prayed that prayer, yeah. my brother, 
I was changed and I was content. And I was a different person. Hallelujah. Now, thank you, Jesus. Was your wife saved? My wife, she, uh, she saw it when I came home. Yeah. I came from work and she saw the change and uh, she said, what happened? Well, I told her I was listening to this uh, Christian station and yeah. I followed the prayer. She said, what? Because we were already 12 years married. Yeah. And, you know, in my uh, life, yeah. in our marriage, I had all kinds of insights, ideas, sure. you name it. Yeah. And she was thinking, this is not a crazy nonsense yeah. in the past. I'm going to watch it. So I took the girls. Mm -hmm. We had uh, three girls. Yeah. We still have. Yeah. And uh, I took them to the local church. Yeah. And she was watching me. Is this real? How long is this going to stay? Okay. But it was real. So five months later, one Sunday morning, uh, girls were ready. Ready, go. And she said, can I go with you? I said, hallelujah, why not? So she went with us. And uh, here we are today. And she's by my side. We're going back to Czech Republic. Yeah. She also surrendered her life to Jesus Christ. Her life is changed. Yes. Now she's ministering and uh, God is using her mighty way. So you guys are seeing a lot of fruit wherever you go. Well, to God be the glory. Yes. It is not because of me. Yes. I have nothing. Yes. But uh, I'm obedient. Yes. It was in 2010 when we totally surrendered. Yes. When God uh, spoke through vision, through prophetic word, yes. through the dream that he's calling us back to the country. Yes. We fled away. We yeah. ran away. Yeah. So I knew God is calling me. So it was 2010. I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Here am I. Send me. Yes. So we have to come to the point and God is using you when you do what God is calling you to do, because each one of us, we were created yeah. for things sure. by God. Yeah. And if we do it, he will use us a mighty powerful way. Sure. Everyone has a specific mission. Yes, sir. Uh, everyone is anointed for that uh, special task that only you can do, correct? Yes, that's true. Because uh, we've been created unique individuals. Uh, each one of us, we can uh, reach people in our neighborhood, yeah. our friends, relatives, yeah. co workers. Yeah. Uh, pastor cannot do it all. Yeah. So we have a specific role to play sure. in the body of Christ, and uh, we just need to do what He's calling us to do. We need to know yeah. in the Spirit, be yeah. obedient. Yes, Lord. Yeah. And He will give us the peace that transcends yeah. all understandings. Sure. It, it will not be easy, but uh, He will be there with us. This is true. He and said. it's going to be new beginnings, new things, and uh, we need to give Him glory. So you think, well, you know that when communism came in, it really hurt the people. Yes, sir. Uh, spiritually, I'm talking spiritually now. Yes. It really, it really uh, dampened, uh, I don't want to say the power of the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit's always there, but it put um, a different heart mode over, a different yes. mindset into yes. the people. Well, actually, I'm an example. Yeah. I'm a living example how People were damaged. Yeah. They were brainwashed. Yeah. They were used for the purposes of government. Yes. We were only numbers. Uh, so it, it uh, affect everybody. Yeah. And uh, that's why they did. They tried to use us. Yeah. Actually, in those days, yeah. uh, Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic in these days, yeah. it was the former satellite country of Soviet Union. Yeah. Actually, we were enemies, yeah. as we know. However, today we are a family. So uh, to God be the glory, if I would not leave the country, I do not think I would be where I am today. Right. Well, God be the glory on that. Amen. I, I believe that uh, the Lord is not done with Czechoslovakia. Yes, sir. I believe that yes, we're, I believe we're living in the last days. Thank you. I believe Jesus is coming very soon. I believe you're going to see an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I believe you're going to see mass salvations. I believe you're going to see hundreds of thousands of people Hallelujah. come to him who was righteous and pure, who died for you, yes. who died for me. And the hour is late because this country is also going down the same road as these countries did during the war, Czechoslovakia, yes. Poland, etc. But only the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. 
only the power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus. Yes. The name above every name. The only name in which you can be saved. Yes, sir. And the only blood, the only blood that can wash you and cleanse you of your sins. Thank you, Lord. Do you travel any place else besides? Are, are you traveling in, in the area right now? As right now we do, we itinerate. So we travel from assembly to assembly, yeah. from east Good. to west, from south, north, all Penn, Florida. And uh, we excited because we would like to return in end of August uh, back to uh, Mission Field, to Czech yeah. Republic. And it's a lot of traveling, but we enjoy it because we do what God is calling us to do. It's not easy, yeah. but he always provides mm -hmm. and uh, strength, energy, resources, and he keeps us healthy. To God be the glory. And it's rewarding. Yes, very rewarding. It's a peace that uh, really, I mean, it's incredible, the yeah. peace upon our hearts. Sure. And it's not easy because we are not uh, like uh, youngsters anymore. Sure. But uh, it's incredible. Actually, I was talking to Daddy about that uh, age, and I said, uh, Dad, are you serious? Uh, you know, I am mid-50s. And uh, he said, Peter, don't worry about the age. Yeah. I will use you if you are available, if you are willing. I said, yes, sir. Yeah. So here we are today, and uh, God has a plans with us, with mm. each one of us. Thank you, Lord. We only have a few minutes left, so give a quick salvation message. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, I want to talk to you people who are watching this uh, show. It's uh, time now. You don't know about tomorrow. It was the same thing when I was, and I'm challenging you. It's no other way out there. Jesus said in the world, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's no other way. So I want to challenge you. You need to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, Jesus Christ. So. If you are there and you feel that presence of the Holy Spirit speaking to you right now, I'm challenging you. Pray this prayer. Repeat after me. Father God, I believe that you sent Jesus Christ on my behalf, that Jesus died on the cross for my sins because I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. I have received Jesus Christ as my Lord and I'm Savior right now and He is my Redeemer, my Baptizer, my Healer, and my soon coming King. Father, I believe that you raised them from the dead on the third day again. And I believe I will live forever. I am turning away from my ways. I'm going to follow you from now on. Thank you that you give me a new heart and I am born again. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus Christ I pray. If you pray that prayer, you are born again. You are the child of the living God. Hallelujah. Peter, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, sir. I'm Dr. Stephen Scavelli. This is End Time Revival Ministries. May the Lord bless you. <laughs>